What is it with you? What do you got, a death wish or something? That's what it takes. I just want to race. Might lose your car. <laughs> Let's do it. Your funeral. Ride or die, remember? How has Toretto kind of grown for you over, it's like now 12 years? Yes. My father used to teach acting at Brooklyn College when I was raised, when I was growing up. And just recently we talked about the fact he had mentioned in all of the method techniques, the Meisner techniques, the actor studio techniques, no one ever talked about how to play a character over a decade and said that there's something novel and new about that that could be an interesting discussion. The idea of playing a character over a decade, I guess calls for you to incorporate your own growth and somehow affect the character with that in some way. Um, I enjoy the challenge and, and I enjoy the ability to evolve the character. Toretto in this particular episode, he kind of gets to carry the, the emotional weight of the film really because I'm there at the big reunion with, with Letty, with Michelle Rodriguez. Is, was that great to have her kind of back into the fold? Better than great. If it weren't for Letty, we wouldn't have done Fast, for, Fast Six. It was all, the condition was that she would be in this movie. You've also been a producer on several films. What level of kind of creative input have you then had over the series as it's grown? A lot. A, lo a real lot, Jimmy. Like massive. There's a difference between the first three Fast and Furious movies and the last three, to the point where you could separate the two into two separate trilogies. The first three were done in the traditional Hollywood way, which kind of threw caution to the wind or, 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 or threw continuity to the wind and didn't care whether one story connected to the other. Didn't care where they left off with the last movie. How could you do a, two, uh, a sequel to Fast and Furious and not know where Dom went in Mexico or where Letty went or any of the characters? We changed that. Um, when I came to, on to produce, uh, for the fourth one, the one thing that I wanted to do was change our perception of the way we would look at this franchise and the way that Hollywood would look at the franchise and the studio would look at the franchise and demand of them and of ourselves that we treat it as a continuing saga so that there would never be a version of us making a movie that didn't directly pick up where we left off. And now as you head into seven with a new director, do you see that as the start of a new phase? Well, I try to think of these movies in trilogies. So when I came on for Fast and the Furious, for the fourth chapter, I came into the studio talking about four, five, and six. And after they laughed at me and kicked me off the lot, and said I ought to get my head examined, and we four finally came out, I went back to the studio again and said, let's do five and six together. And the same thing happened. Finally, with six, um, we were really close to doing six and seven simultaneously. And then the multiple locations made it impossible to capitalize on that economy of scale that you would get when doing two movies or three movies back to back. Seven is the beginning of the next trilogy in, in, in a thought out story. And uh, the three stories of seven and eight and nine are, are mapped out in a structure, um, even if they're not signed off on completed scripts. The direction of seven, eight, and nine is clear. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.